Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, I am Farhan Farah, lecturer in statistics at Higher Education Department. Today we will discuss uh, what is the difference between uh, graph and the diagram. As you know very well, in the diagram, uh, is the graphical or the visual form of the data, while uh, in the graph we can also say it is also the graphical or the video visual form of the data. But in this case, uh, we can say that in the diagram, we have the shape time. In the diagram, when we are going to draw the diagrams, so in that case, we have to draw the shapes, while in this case, we don't have to draw the shapes, right? Uh, let us see, a graph is a picture, a pictorial presentation of the relationships, right? Between the uh, variables, it gives more accurate and the precise result than the diagrams, right? So if we have the two type of the data, and we are first of all, we are going to discuss side type of data on the uh, diagram and as well as the graph. So in the, in the diagram, the relationship between and the graph uh, so accurate result will be the uh, just like the graph, right? Because graph gives accurate results as compared to the diagrams, right? So if we have the continuous type data, so in case of continuous type data, we have we can construct the uh, graph, right? You will see in the cricket matches and ECG etc. We can draw the uh, graph. Right? Also, we can draw the uh, diagrams uh, in order to show the score of the students, uh, score of the players. Right? So, this is the procedure under which you people draw the graph. Now, we are going to discuss the types of the graph. <coughs> there are so many types of the graphs, but we are limited a few of them. Right? We are not limited to this in statistics. In the world of statistics, there are so many types of the uh, graphs. Now, First is your histogram. This is the first part of the graph, which is the histogram. So, one by one, we will discuss yeah, how we discuss how we can construct the histogram. Right? Dear students, as you know, well, in the previous lectures, we already discussed that uh, we have x y plane. In the x y plane, we have the first thing is your origins like zero. Origin means starting point, right? Now, after the origin point, we can start the number line, which is for the positive side of the x, which is represented when we can say that x axis. Now, it is the now the opposite of side of this axis will be your x prime. Alright? Now Similarly, this is y-axis. So y-axis starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, to so on, right? Now, the opposite side of the uh, y is your y prime. This is called xy plane. Remember, when we are going to construct the graph and the diagram, so we should, we need this type of, uh, this portion of your xy plane. This is not an arrow plane, this is xy plane. And x y plan if you are sitting in the on the earth, on the land, right? On the ground, you can say that. So this is x axis and the uh, perpendicular side of your uh, this will be what? Y axis. So remember when we are going to construct the graph or the diagram, so we should need these things, two things. One is your x axis and the second one is your y axis. Alright? So how to construct the histogram? Remember, when we are going to construct the histograms, so we should need the two things. The first one is your x-axis. Look at it. The first one is your x-axis. This is called x-axis. Right? This is called origin point, starting point. Now, this is called y-axis. So when we are going to construct the histogram, so in histogram, um, x-axis we take the class bond. In chart, we can say that it is CB, right? On Y axis, we can take the frequency of the respective classes, right? If we have equal class interval, so in case of equal class interval, we can construct this program like this class boundary as well as your frequency. Whenever, when we are going to construct the 
unequal class, when we are going to construct the histogram for unequal class intervals. So in that case, what we will do? So in that case, we will do, we can draw the histogram for unequal, unequal CI. CI stands for the class interval. So in this case, this is origin and this is class bond. Right? And remember, when we are going to construct the histogram, so in case of the histogram, we can say that on x axis we also take the class bond. Whenever we have the continuous frequency distributions, so in case of the continuous frequency distributions, we can construct the uh, uh, histograms. So on if we have unequal class also, which is represented by H, if H is not same for the all of the classes. So in that case, what we will do? So in that case, we will do on along y-axis we can take the adjusted frequency because in this case we have large frequency. Whenever we have the large frequency, then we will convert it into adjusted frequency. So what is adjusted frequency? Adjusted frequency means if each frequency is divided by its class interval. So this is called the adjusted frequencies. Now. The histogram look like this type of shape, right? Histogram look like this type of the shape. So this is called histogram for the uh, histogram for equal class and term. Now, if we have this type of the diagram, so in this type of the diagram, we can say that it is the unequal uh, histogram for the unequal class interval. Whenever we have the continuous frequency distributions, so in case of the continuous frequency distribution, we can solve the histogram like this, right? Whenever we have the discrete data, the discrete data, so in the case of the discrete data, on x-axis we can take the value of x, right? Look at it, discrete for discrete case. For grid speed case, uh, we can construct the histogram. So, in in this case, we can say that in histogram, we can take the value of x axis like this. The value we can draw the value of x on this line: one, two, three, four, five, and so on. It depends on your value of x. While in y axis, we can take similar as uh, f frequency of your class, right? So, what is the difference between this type of the histogram and this type of histogram? So, in this case, the histogram will be looked like this, by jumping values, because we have the data in this case by jumping value, or by, we can say that, uh, by jumping value, there is no limit is involved in this frequency distribution. So, this is a procedure under which you people construct the histogram, right? Now, we, are, uh, we can construct the frequency polygons. So when we construct, under what conditions we can construct the frequency polygon, right? Uh, it is all of the uh, graph based on the frequency distributions. If you have the frequency distribution, so you can construct the frequency polygon. So frequency polygon, it is just like, look like uh, the histogram. So, in, in the frequency polygon, we can say that this is x axis and this is y axis. This is the starting point, or we can say that the origin point, right? Now, in the on x axis, on the histo uh, frequency polygon, we can take the midpoint. Midpoint, or in other words, we can say that class marks. Midpoint and class marks, right? Along y axis, we can make frequency. So, this is the procedure under which we will draw the frequency polygon. So, in this case, we can draw the line and we put some dots on such a line, and, and at the end, we can, so we can construct, we can draw the line like this, we can combine all the points. So, you will get the frequency polygons, right? This is uh, on x axis, we can take the midpoint of the class marks. On y axis, we can take the frequency 
uh, frequency of the glass. What is frequency curve and how we can construct the frequency curve? It is quite easy as compared to others. Whenever you construct the frequency distributions, so frequency polygon, so in case of frequency polygon, we can say that frequency curve. So in case of the frequency curve, similarly, this is a procedure look like the frequency polygon, but there is one difference. Zero, uh, midpoint, midpoint as the frequency, right? It looks like the frequency polygon like this. Like the point, we can draw the points like this and at the end we can draw the points, right? So like this, this, this. But at the end, we can construct a, a curve. According to these lines, so you will get the frequency uh, curve, right? When you are construct, when we are going to construct the uh, frequency curve, so before construction of the frequency curve, first of all, we will construct the frequency polygon. So in case of the frequency polygon, uh, we have, we can construct the frequency curve. It is, it is uh, just like a simple curve above the points of the frequency polygons. Now, uh, community frequency <laughs> going on and often later on we will discuss. So I repeat myself, uh, what is the difference between the graph and the diagram? So the, the diagram is just like the shape, it represents the shape of your data, while the uh, graph is quite easy, uh, the results of the graph is quite easy as compared to the diagrams. So we have uh, so many types of the graphs in the uh, statistics, but we will discuss a few of uh, them uh, histograph, frequency polygon, frequency curve, and community frequency per or again we will we will discuss. But it is quite easy for you people when we are going to construct a diagram. So in this case, we can say that we have uh, the histogram, we can focus on x axis and the y axis. In the graph or the diagram, <coughs> we will focus on the x axis on the y axis because all of the graph and the diagram based on x-axis and y-axis. Thank you.